friends. Happy Monday. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you're doing well and hopefully you and your family are staying healthy during this time. If you're stuck in quarantine, I hope that you are finding new and exciting ways to keep yourself entertained because I know it's easy to get bored when you're stuck inside. That's why this week I've been coming up with some new ways to keep myself entertained when I'm not busy hanging out with you guys. I've been running with Molly, playing my trumpet, hammocking, playing video games. Man, do you ever miss Tilted Towers? Ah, oh, check out that Deadpool skin. I watched a cow give birth and I'm hanging out with my family at home and I'm finding new ways to keep learning and enjoying myself every day. I hope you are too. Leave a comment and tell me what you've been up to during quarantine. How you've been watching your siblings? How you've been working on schoolwork? Maybe you've picked up a hobby that you've always wanted to try but never had the time. It's been great to see so many of you during our weekly hangout times. I know there's a lot of you who have not signed up for a time yet, so don't worry if you're one of those people, there's still plenty of time for you to do that. Just hop onto Google Classroom and sign up using the spreadsheet. I really enjoyed all the hangout times that I had this past week. It was great to see everyone and to play a little bit of music for a while. In this week's episode, I have several reminders as well as many band bingo submissions that I've received from you guys. I'm really excited to share some of these and maybe it will give you some inspiration for any of the activities that you haven't completed yet. At the end of this video, I also will have information for you to be looking forward to about marching band and other upcoming opportunities. So stay tuned till the end of the video. As you know, this week on Thursday, April 9th at 7 o'clock p.m., we will be having our first Front Porch concert. Pick out a couple of songs that you really enjoy playing, invite your household members, and set up shop on your front porch. Serenade your neighborhood, everyone will enjoy it, I promise. Back when I was in middle school, my parents used to kick me out onto the front porch all the time to practice my trumpet. So much so that my neighbors came to expect it. What a surprise it will be for them when they hear me playing this Thursday. The forecast is calling for nice weather on Thursday, so maybe your family members and neighbors might set up some lawn chairs just to hear you play. If you have another family member in your household who can play an instrument, invite them to play with you. We want as many musicians as possible to be a part of this concert. Be sure to get a video recording of your performance and share it with me when you're done, or post it on social media using the hashtag Spokane Front Porch Concert. We wanna to try to get as many videos as possible using that hashtag. Hopefully we can all band together and make this happen. <laughs> band together. Band humor. <laughs> Coming up next, we've got several band bingo submissions that I wanna share with you. We have several friends who have decided to complete the photo shoot activity for this week. Check it out. Seriously awesome guys, great work. We've also had two TikTok submissions for this week. One from senior Allie Orr and another from seventh grader Hunter Kelly. Check it out. other band bingo submissions.
We're now moving on to week two of Band Bingo. If you haven't finished your week one submissions, get those in as soon as you can and then get started on week two. You guys are so creative and I really love seeing all the things that you guys come up with. If you're going to be in 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, or 12th grade next year, and you'd like to be a part of the marching band, we're going to be having signups for that soon. I know that especially with being in quarantine, I'm really looking forward to a chance to get together and play with everyone, and marching band is one of my favorite opportunities to do that. I also heard a rumor floating around that the marching band might be trying to go on a trip next year. I'll have more information about that in the coming weeks. So be on the lookout for that in my future videos. I thought I'd show you a cool jazz lick that I learned from my high school band directors. This is a really cool lick to learn if you ever want to make people think that you know how to play jazz. My two band directors, Mr. Eric Blankenship and Dr. Tracy Thomas, they called this the shadoodle bop Shadoodle a bop, shadoodle a bop, shadoodle a bop, shadoodle a bop, shadoodle a bop. It includes these notes concert D flat, concert D, concert F, concert G, and then concert B flat. It's just five notes. You can play it slow. It's a lot of fun. Give it a shot. Thanks again to my high school band directors. I've never forgotten that lick. Check out the description below if you're not sure what those notes are for your instrument. Okay, friends, I think that's all I have for this week's edition of the Spokane Weekly Band Report. Again, keep those submissions coming, and I'm excited to hear you guys play this Thursday for our Spokane Front Porch Concert. And anyone that you want to invite to come hear you play, can always pull up a car, pull up a chair, and enjoy. I hope you remember that throughout all of this, we're all on the same team, and we're cheering for each other to have great success. Don't forget that everybody makes mistakes, especially me. But just remember that it's not about how many mistakes you make, but how you recover from those mistakes and learn from them that shows your true character. Never give up and always keep trying. I'm really proud of you for all the work you've been doing. Keep it up. I'll see you for next week's episode, but until then, remember to wash your hands, stay safe, spread positivity and joy, and I'll see you next week. Go team!